Sankok. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to raise this petition regarding intervention to address uh, distress raised in food prices uh, in this country. I, the undersigned on behalf of the undersigned citizen of Kenya, straining under the current rise in food prices, draw the attention of the House to the following. One, that recent data as well as general observation of the market reveals a drastic increase in food prices, which is devastating news for citizens, majority of whom live on less than a dollar a day. Two, that the high cost of food has been occasioned by preference of idle land that is in the hands of absentee landlords who fail to productively use the land for public good. Three, that idle lands such as the 98,000 acres of Kidong Ranch, among others, such large parcels across the country, can produce tons of food if distributed to hard-working farmers. Four, that high taxes of food and food products, as well as state capture of businesses by leaders that create regressive monopolies have also led to hike in food prices and exploitation of citizens, which is exemplified by the irregular increment in prices of milk products where state protected farms buy milk from farmers at 27 Kenya shillings per liter, only to sell it off at 120 shillings per liter after skinning the milk and little or minimal processing. Five, that session paper number 10 of 1965 was the genesis of these problems because it prevented investment and development in large tracts of land that account for 80% of the Kenya landmass in arid and semi-arid regions while purporting to spur investment in high potential areas that place unprecedented strain on the remaining 20% proportion of arable land. Six, that effort by the petitioners to have the matter of skyrocketing food prices addressed by the relevant authority have been futile. Seven, and the, the issue in respect of this petition is made are not pending before any court or before any constitutional or legal body. Now, therefore, your humble petition, I pray that the National Assembly, through the Departmental Committee on Agriculture and Livestock, one, secure the urgent passage of law to compel absentee landlords to either lease their land or put it into productive use. Two, secure the waiving of all taxes on food and related essential commodities. Three, to secure the passage of laws to set maximum profits margin that big farms operating in Kenya can make. Four, facilitate the passage of laws that protect small and micro enterprises dealing with food products, including millers, milk processing companies, among others. Five, facilitate passage of laws to compel state officers to declare their conflict of interest in that running monopolies and big farms operating in Kenya. Six, secure the adoption of irrigation model that utilize gravity occasioned by the existence of the country's water towers that rise up to 2,000 meters above sea level, such as Mount Kenya, Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Elgon, Mao, and Abandea ridges, and channel of the water through irrigation by using the force of gravity. Seven, make any other recommendation or order it is same fit in a bind to bring down the exorbitant prices of food in this country. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker.
Now, um, Sergeant Trumps, can you confirm for me whether we have a quorum? <laughs>